Scientific notation always uses decimal notation that is bigger than 1 but smaller than 10. Why? This is due to magnitude. Magnitude is how we can observe very large or very small numbers and easily compare them. The magnitude of a number is the exponent when the number is written in scientific notation. So here are a few examples. We have 8,304, which in scientific notation would convert to 8.304 times 10 to the 3. So since the exponent is a 3, the order of magnitude is 3. Here we have 20,000. So 20,000 in scientific notation would be 2 times 10 to the 4th. So the exponent is 4. So the order of magnitude is going to be 4 as well. And you can see that 20,000 is larger than 8,304. So a 4 is larger than a 3. Here we have 0 0.000034, which in scientific notation is 3.4 times 10 to the negative 5. So since the exponent is negative 5, the order of magnitude is negative 5 as well. Let's practice and write each of the following in scientific notation first and then indicate the order of magnitude by looking at its exponent. 6,214 using our four steps in scientific notation would be 6.214 times 10 to the third, making the order of magnitude 3. 472.17 would be 4.7217 times 10 to the second in scientific notation, making its order of magnitude 2. This number here, 813 million, would be 8.13 times 10 to the 3, 6, 7, 8, making it an order of magnitude of 8. Here we would have 2.53 times 10 to the negative 1, 2, 3, 4, making its order of magnitude negative 4. You include the sign. The next numbers would be 6.47 times 10 to the negative 1, 2, 3. Or making the order of magnitude a negative 3. And here we would have 4.9 times 10 to the negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And again, with all of these in scientific notation, I'm using my four steps and moving the decimal point, removing the unnecessary zeros, and finally having that order of magnitude of a negative seven. Here is an application of magnitude. So let's let J represent the world population in 1950. So here's what the population would be. So find the smallest power of 10 that will exceed J. So in order to do this, the number above J has 10 digits. We have 3, 6, 9, 10 digits and is smaller than a whole number with 11 digits. So 10 to the 10th, right, we have this power of 10 is therefore greater than J or J is less than 10 to the 10th. So the power, the smallest power of 10 would be that exponent of 10 as well. Let's try one, again, another application. You can let K represent the national debt in 1950. That would be this number. So this number right here, K, has 12 digits and is smaller than a whole number with 13 digits. So therefore, K would be less than 10 to the 12th. So our answer, that exponent, would be 12. That would be our smallest power of 10.